let's go to the vault. Okie dokie, top secret this week. Uh, he sent this over to me to post up and we did. What is this? This is an ancient design. This is a canned feather wing that I designed like easily. Uh, Brian designed it, uh, or I designed it. I remember we both worked on this project many years ago. Um, I was about to release it and then uh, chip shortage basically like killed availability for the MCP2515, which is what's being used here. It, this chip is in so many products, it's not surprising. It basically got bought out instantly. Um, so with the part available again, um, I'm able to, um, build this board. So it's got a, it's got a, uh, three to five volt mini boost converter, just a switch cap to give you that logic level, uh, the crystal and matching capacitors, reset button, um, MCP 2515. And over here, this is the MCP, uh, 2551, which sounds very similar, but this is the can transceiver phi element. And this is the. Uh, SPI to CAN converter. And then all the way to the left is an edge mount uh, DE9. And then um, over here is a uh, terminal block option. So, you know, you add it onto your feather and um, over SPI, you can use it to converse with uh, CAN boards because there's some chips that have built in CAN um, FIs and, and uh, uh, peripherals. Uh, but you have to usually spend a little bit more and sometimes you're like look i i want to just use like my rp2040 or i want to use my um you know nrf52840 which i don't believe has can on it i think the green screen is good so you can show different parts i kind of like that yeah i was like oh I can... yeah i think we're, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing this because we're like we're able to set up a screen here okay cool and then uh i got a top secret uh we're gonna launch relaunch i don't know uh, Adafruit Chiptunes, uh, the idea behind Chiptunes is we have a microscope that can show uh, really close-ups of electronic parts, and then uh, we get cool bands that we know, because there's blippy, bleepy Chiptune music, and we just play music and we look at the chips really close up. We had started to do this a long time ago, um, but then, you know, life happens, chip shortages happen and more. And, uh, this is one we did, this is a close up of, uh, I think it was, uh, circuit playground, um, when we first launched circuit playground. And, uh, what we did is we showed, uh, all the different ways you can zoom in and zoom out with, uh, at the state of the art at the time, how close you could get with, uh, kind of like live webcams and stuff like that. Things have progressed quite a bit. That's not so bad. I'm kind of see. Yeah, you just have to see parts, but you know, like we have again, this also this microscope has been in storage for quite a bit, but we cleaned up and we organized a lot of this area. Um, you know, if we can magnify even more, maybe, um, but it's a nice uh, uh, confocal microscope with a uh, tri head, so you can have a yeah. HDMI output, which is why you can get like really good looking images. It's not one of those like little mini desktop uh, yeah. microscopes. This is a, a nice microscope. Yeah, and as someone mentioned here, um, Chiptunes like journey into the microcosmos, but electronics. Yeah, it is. Um, it is like that. And I think this is what, well, you know, one of the things for us too, it's important to do a lot of these things live because that's special. Um, there's a billion channels. You can watch anything anytime, but live is special. We all get together and uh, of course you can watch it after, but I think that's one of the neat things about uh, some of the shows that we do is you can participate and meet people and talk to people and there's some interactive portions. So anyways, uh, we're going to try to do it top secret, but um, Coming soon.